Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, your lovely Julia. <laughs> and below us down here, if I do that, is lovely Jo. And we're out on another of our little investigations. Yeah, our little jaunts. Our jaunts. Today we're in West Sussex, um, which we're in a lot of during lockdown, of course. Cause Strangely. We don't want to go too far. Um, but we're in Sutton. Sutton, which is near Bigner, um, just off the A29, the Bogner to London Road, but right down in the depths of the countryside along some very lovely lanes. Yes. You like the lanes? They're very nice lanes. And we've come to start our walk, and go for a walk, but we just thought we'd have a quick look at Bigner, at Sutton Church, which is, I think, John the Baptist Church. I don't know much about it. We're not going to linger here too long because we're going for a walk. But let's have a quick look, shall we? Yes. Didn't do a lot of research on this, as we said, because we're just going for a walk. But I do know that the church dates back, I think, to the 11th century, the main um, nave and the tower is a 13th century addition so it does look like it's Norman work and somewhere something for us to have a quick look for is there's some herringbone apparently on the exterior of the church somewhere so maybe we can have a little gander for that by herringbone I'm assuming you do mean stone rather than not stone actual herrings, no, herring stonework, yeah, herringbone is, is a term that's often used. Yeah. But you found something down here interesting. Yeah, I do like uh, a good boot scraper and these ones are pretty, pretty, pretty. <laughs> and pretty good. Yeah, they are, they're very attractive. I like them. This is a curious find. This is what makes um, looking at churches just so interesting because the architecture has changed over the years. A lot of people, you know, just say it's a church. But no, look, look at this very curious arch here. You wonder, what's the significance? Why was it here? Why was it filled up? And why is it a low arch? Did it go down into the crypt? Who knows? Well, clearly somebody does. This is the west entrance. Beautiful again. Love the west entrances to church towers. They yeah. just, um, I don't know, something romantic about them um, in my book. Yeah, it's a gorgeous door. Another pair of lovely boot scrapers. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. A fascinating window. A fascinating tiny window above, and then an even tinier one right above that. I don't, if I tilt that back, can you see? It's tiny, right at the top of the it, screen. It looks like that window at the very top, that really slant, slant, slit-like one. It's there's no glass in it from what I can see. It's just wood with a couple of holes in. Yeah, sometimes they were just like slatted to let the, yeah, uh, the, air the and to let the sound of the bell. Oh, of course. Yeah. I didn't think of that. Yeah. Now I found the herringbone round the other side. Oh, let's let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, I found some. Oh yes. Wow. That's really pretty, isn't it? I wonder what the uh, benefits of uh, building like that would have been. I assume it must have been strength in in laying them out it, when they did them originally. But it, they've been repointed, so it looks at, you know, so that the um, mason, not the masonry, what do you call it, the infill, the cement infill, oh, yeah. um, the, mortar. No, the, the mortar, thank you, I knew there was a word. Um, yeah, that looks has been repointed, so it looks like it's all new, but actually I'm sure the stones are probably the original. And they do date back to Norman times. So, mm. and I note it's, it's just on the nave, not on the tower, which I guess is an indication of age. And it was just a style, I think, that the Normans introduced. And so it's mm. one of those ways of dating buildings. Um, but I assume that by doing this as your building, it gave you a bit more strength. Yeah, and that does make sense. St stayed up. I, think. I mean, I'm not a builder, so I don't know. No. Anyway. Um, the main thing of our thing is to go for a walk. Yes. Um, so, shall we, we on Ivar? Yes. <laughs> so according to the map, 
It's a tiny little circular route. It really, um, it's barely a mile actually. Okay. Um, but I thought with the inclement weather, we had to get out and do something. And I just thought it was nice to come and have a look at Sutton, somewhere I've not been before. Yeah. Uh, apologies that we're on wobbly cam again. Um, just passing some beautiful houses though. Lovely houses yeah. in this district. Like the door on that one is gorgeous. It's like a little medieval door. Yeah. It's probably not, but. Not the point. Has the, has the look though, yes, doesn't it? it? Has that Absolutely, essence, yeah. That feel. So we're going to go down there, we're going to turn left, and then I'm not quite sure what happens because uh, Google Street View didn't give me any more. So ah. It's a bit of an adventure. We'll see where it goes then. <laughs> So what would you rather do, uh, Julia? Would you rather live in an old-fashioned timber-framed property, like the like of which we've been passing, or would you prefer a, a nice, grander stone property? Um, I quite like the uh, timber-framed ones. Um, yeah, me too. Give money, we're not an option, and we're not Yeah, we're, it's, it's not actually a, a reality and likely to happen, oh, certainly not with me, not making from YouTube, but... Um, I don't know, there's a certain warmth about a timber frame property. I didn't think you were offering, that's for sure. No. <laughs> well, we're heading southwards on this little journey and in front of us is we've got the uh, South Downs. Um, which loom up. So we're on the north face of Berry Hill. In fact, the other day I did a walk um, near Whiteways, and, and Whiteways would be diagonally to the southeast from here. Yeah. And then we did a walk just south of that the other day yes. with little Joe. But um, well, we didn't film anything. No. Oh, yeah, that's true. I've, we actually went on a walk where we didn't take the camera. I know. Uh, I mean, that was. Because I think I'd already done something that day. Anyway, yeah. carrying on, it looks like a nice little little um, avenue of trees. Yeah, lots of nice mature trees along this route. The path is a little difficult. I looked on the map purposely to try and find a path that was going to be easy, but for Julia, trying to manoeuvre the little buggy... Are you alright? Yeah. I think it widens a bit further on. I would help, but obviously I'm, you know, very busy holding the camera. <laughs> you alright? Something in your eye? Yeah. Is it your finger? <laughs> it was for a moment. Yeah, that happens. Um, we come to a fork in the road, um, mm. or in the path down this little bit here. And I know that that goes down to a footbridge right. over a little stream. And my original intention was that we just go down there, but because it's quite narrow, the other option then is coming round back this way in a loop. Mm. Um, so let's do that. L look at this amazing hazel just over here. Yes. It's fantastic, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? Joe's not so impressed. <laughs> it's an old one for sure. Looks brilliant, an old coppiced hazel. Mm. Lovely bit of woodland. It's a shame there's no sun because all the leaves and everything would just make this absolutely golden, but yeah. you know, Vibrant. it is. Vibrant. Yeah, definitely. Right, so we'll carry on on our loop. Hi. I don't think I've picked a particularly great walk really for today. The weather is rather inclement. I mean, it's not raining as such, but it's, the ground is difficult for you, Julia, isn't it? Yeah. I'm sorry you're doing all the pushing. That's all right. You, you need, need the exercise. There you go. Heaven knows. Um, so we've, we're just doing a very tiny little walk, really. This is much of nothing. Um, it, it's a nice walking weather if you're just walking, because you can get your head down and go plodding on if you're not impaired with a stroller. Yeah, I think that's partially why I'm not very wordy today. 
uh, and also if you're filming because I'm you know thinking about lack of light and also wind on the microphone there's all these constraints that uh, normally you don't have to worry about when you're just out for a walk so we're going to do the shorter version of the walk and head back towards the church which is actually just in the tree line in front of us And here we are back on the lane that takes us up to the church. Bit of a, a short little walk today. I ho hope you enjoyed it. It was enough to get us out into the fresh country air, wasn't yes. it? Yes. Poor old Joe. Um, we didn't bring his wellings. I say we. Um, <laughs> I forgot his, his yeah. wellies. So without wellies, of course, he's not able to sort of go for a stroll in the, well, in the mud. Because he does like the puddles, doesn't he? He does. Uh, which kid doesn't? Yeah, absolutely. No, quite. So the church is up ahead um, and the van hopefully is still there. So we're going to go and uh, have, have a, a brew cover. up. Thank you so much for watching. We'll have to come back and have a look um, at the church absolutely. when churches are open because I think there's some interesting relics on the inside. And you noticed that there was a tennis court and... And a bowls green Yeah. behind the church. So interesting. Well. Anyway, uh, don't forget to follow, like and subscribe. Thank you for joining us today and we'll see you on another video very soon. All the best. Bye-bye.